yo girl Jay and today I'm here with a review for The Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars so without further ado let us get started. This book follows Serena who is the princess of Gamora which is a traveling circus where she performs in the freak show. Her act consists of various performances from her family which are actually illusions that she created with her mind. She loves her family but she knows that they are ultimately not real. So when one of her illusions is murdered she is both shocked and confused and so she enlists the help of another performer named Luca to help find the murderer before they strike again. I have been a huge fan of Amanda Foodie's writing since Ace of Shades and King of Fools and so I was very excited to pick this book up and I was not disappointed. I was addicted right from the beginning. I was originally going to give this a 5 out of 5 stars but upon further thought I bumped it down to a 4.5 out of 5 stars. In my opinion it is just missing something that gives it that 5 out of 5 stars. I found the story very compelling and unique. I was drawn into Gamora right from the first page and I found the Jinx workers and the whole concept of Jinx work to be so fascinating. I think that the setting of the book was a huge highlight for me. The whole idea of a dark city circus was so eerie and just atmospheric and spooky. I loved every second of it. I was so invested in figuring out who the killer was right from the first page. I was also a huge fan of the character sketches in the book. Every single family member of Serena has like a character sketch and like stuff about them in the book and I just thought it was a great addition to the story. I not only fell in love with the setting of this book but I absolutely adored all of the characters. Serena was such a great main character. I just found her to be very relatable. She is just so fiercely loyal to her family. She's worried about disappointing her father. And she's also trying to come to terms with her feelings of insecurity with her freak status. I just think her jinx work and the ability of creating illusions and making them come to life was so interesting. Like I was instantly intrigued with her power and just like what she could do. Each of Serena's family members were just so unique and lovable. I loved every single one of them. I felt so protective over each and every one of them that I was dreading when they were going to be killed off because I knew it was coming and I knew that every couple of chapters somebody else was gonna die and I was pissed about it. I just really liked how we actually got to learn about the different members of the family and their unique characteristics and personalities. It felt that everybody was very well developed. I was a huge fan of Luca. I loved how broody and mysterious he was on one side, but then he was also very loving and caring towards Serena at the same time. I loved trying to figure out the mystery behind him and where he fell in the story. I also really loved the representation in this. Serena is bisexual, Nicoletta is a lesbian, and Luca is somewhere on the A spectrum, and I thought that it was really well done in this book. I'm honestly just so upset that this is a standalone book because I need more of the family and Luca and Serena and just everything that went down. I just need more of it. So Amanda Foodie, if you're watching, would you like to write another sequel to this book, please? Because I need it. All right, everybody, that was my review for Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I definitely recommend you guys check it out because I think it is a very underrated book. I loved it so much. The characters are so great and just the whole spooky atmosphere is a great time. So it's a really good book to read in October. So you should read it. Let me know down below if you have read it and what you thought of it and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!